Hi there everybody. Uh, today I thought I'd talk about compost, given that we're trying very hard not to waste anything um, now that we're in the coronavirus meltdown. Um, I thought I'd show you really how I go about making compost for the garden. And so everything that we have in the house that's uh, a waste product, um, that's vegetable or coffee grouts or stuff like that, but nothing that's cooked. Uh, that all comes up here and it goes into this compost heap. Like that, potato peelings, all sorts. Then uh, what I do every now and then is that I turn it. And occasionally I leave it open too because you'll find little birds come in and they take the fruit flies. Uh, but it also needs to be wet enough. So sometimes I add, if it feels a bit dry, I add a little bit of water just to the top, just to keep it all going nicely. So that's, that's that bit. Then when it's done, after several months, what you get is this stuff. Some of it's broken down really nicely, some of it's less broken down, but it's ready to use. And what's great about it is that it's full of little worms and it's highly, highly, highly nutritious. So, oh, there we got one, okay. So really, really nutritious for the soil and I can use that as a mulch on the garden. Uh, and I've got hardly any left actually because I've already put it all onto, onto the garden. Uh, now the other things that you can put onto the, uh, onto the compost heap are paper, tea bags, um, cardboard, egg boxes, stuff like this that's, that's cardboard that actually very sweetly says biodegradable compostable. So stuff like that, that can all go on. Uh, egg boxes, um, Amazon boxes. Amazon very kindly no longer use plastic here, so that's very good. You really don't want plastic in there. Shut up, hen. Um, so that's that. So you make sure you keep it nicely damp and so on. And then after, that'll probably take, if you don't do anything to it, it'll probably take about six months before that's ready to go on the garden. But a way of increasing or decreasing the amount of time it takes is to do a bit of a workout. And what you do here, if you get bamboo out of the way, is that you take one of these, which uh, I think we've had probably about 16 years now. And basically it's a prong, which once it gets down into the compost, opens out. So you push it down into the center and you haul it back up. And then what it does is it brings all those lovely worms and all the stuff from the middle up towards the top and it brings all the oh, and gradually you find you've actually turned it on and it's a lot although it looks a bit of a workout i don't mind doing it it's um uh it's an extremely good way of speeding up uh the speed that you make that you make compost so if you have a look at this now can you see this it's got wiggly worms wiggly worms wiggling about this is actually pure pony poo here, uh, and I think it's probably been there for a couple of months. But frankly, because I've done this quite often, it doesn't smell of anything, and uh, pretty much could be used. If you look now, can you see that's grey? And that's where all the fungi, fungi and uh, um, uh, micro... Oh, God. I forgot what it's called, but anyway, wonderful bacteria and stuff that's been working on it. So that's what's breaking down this compost. My, micro rhizeal, that's not right. It's a word like that anyway. Oh look, we've even got a tiny bit of mushroom. So that's very healthy and it's very good for you doing this bit. And then again, that's a bit dry, so I need to add some water to that. So, woof! Basically, that's making compost once that's done you can use that on your garden and it will be incredibly nu nutritious for the, all the plants happy gardening i don't know if you can see that but just above these uh, compost bins in the distance there flying i can't get closer to it, i'm afraid uh, is a short-toed snake eagle who's busy trying to hunt just see if you can spot it over to the left hand side of the of the uh, of the picture it's looking for snakes i guess <laughs>